One in three people in the United Kingdom have varicose veins. Although many people have no symptoms, varicose veins do cause heaviness, throbbing, itching, cramps, restless legs or tired legs. Varicose veins usually worsen over time and some people will go on to develop leg ulcers which can be very difficult to heal and which significantly affect quality of life. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence has recently made important recommendations. But will NICE really make a difference? The new NICE guidance recommends that people should be referred to a vascular service if they have varicose veins causing symptoms, varicose eczema, phlebitis or leg ulcers. They should then have a duplex ultrasound scan to confirm what is wrong and then a plan should be formulated for treatment. The guidance goes on to recommend that endothermal ablation, treating the vein from the inside using heat energy from radiofrequency or laser, should be offered to treat confirmed varicose veins. Ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy should be offered to patients if endothermal ablation is not suitable. NICE recommends that only if neither treatment is suitable should surgery be considered. But is this happening? I know from feedback from varicose vein sufferers and from informal discussions with GPs that in many cases the NICE guidance is not being followed. GPs, specialists and patients are aware of the guidance but most people with varicose veins even with complications such as phlebitis or varicose eczema, are simply not getting referred. They're not even getting to the hospital for an opinion or a scan. The reason? Well, I think it's about money and rationing. The NHS is under enormous financial pressure and my own personal opinion is that it cannot cope with the demand for venous disease treatment. The NICE guidance is just that, guidance, and it is not being followed in many areas of the United Kingdom. So far, the NICE guidance has made little difference since it was issued nearly six months ago. Now, I would be interested to hear of your experience or your opinions. Please leave, a, uh, please leave your comments on the link below don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see my next video. Thank you for watching.